हेलो गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू सी ओ पी एम टेक एडमिशन काउंसलिंग बाय जी के रॉकेट सी ओ पी बिकॉज ऑफ माई बिजी शेड्यूल इन दिस डे आई कुड नॉट अपलोड वीडियो इन लास्ट टू थ्री डेज बट आई हैव स्टार्टेड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिपार्टमेंट एंड गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन बाय वन ब्रांच टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एम टेक इन सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग एट सी ओ पी सो टूडे वी हैव मिस्टर मोहित धले विथ अस फ्रॉम सिग्नल प्रोसेसिंग एंड फ्रॉम द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी बैच वी हैव ऑलरेडी प्लेस्ड इन इन्फो चिप्स and uh, will share his experience about uh, mtech in signal processing so welcome mr mohit dhale hello everyone myself mohit mohit dhale i have just completed my masters in signal processing from coep so basically signal processing branch deals with different kind of process like uh, image processing video processing different kind of biomedical data as well as audio data is there uh, if we talk about curricular then so these subjects will be taught to you along with machine learning subject where you will learn different kind of techniques of machine learning using python language and if you know about there is a boom in the industry right now regarding machine learning deep learning and if you are interested for this then you can choose this branch if we talk about teachers then teachers are well highly qualified if we talk about labs then labs are well equipped along with coep is having a signal and image processing lab where high end gpus as well as cpus are there for your faster processing if we talk about placement then see basically there are two phases in coep first one is of your examination on all those things of first year and second one is about dissertation that means your project so if we choose to complete your dissertation or project from the industry then uh, internships are there almost 40 to 50% students are allowed to go into the industry and complete their projects and rest are completing their project in the in house and if your performance is good then company will directly give you ppo or regarding if you don't get ppo from your internship company then placement is there like mostly see basically 50 to 60% student get placed into the various companies like most of the companies are it section company and few are there like core company i got placed into the core company uh if we talk about uh, see technical events are good in coep cultural events are there and regatta especially regatta is there in coep where a uh, boats racing and all those things are there if you come here then obviously you will like all these things so if you are getting a chance to get selected into the coep then please do come in uh thank you mohit thank you so much for sharing your uh, reviews this can help many juniors while taking their decision of doing mtech in coep thank you so much so uh, the more point are like uh, signal processing is best branch where you can learn uh, many recent technologies like artificial intelligence data science machine learning and uh, the intake of this branch is 18 student and there is no uh, sponsor category here uh, so very good projects are given to you based on the A- ai and ml and as so that you can be showcase your skills uh, while giving your interviews for the job so there are many extracurricular activities like guest lectures technical events and conferences and seminars happening in the department and there are very good opportunities of internship and placement which are we which we are going to look into in details in next slides so before going further uh, we should discuss the cut off of this branch and uh, one more thing i would like to clear here that many of you are asking me about uh, giving the cut off of previous 2 3 years guys no need to uh, look for the previous 2 3 years cut off because a cut off changes every years and uh, we cannot predict uh, what is going to happen in this year you have to just guess what is the range of cut off uh, whether i will get the seat or not and that's it so this one year cut off is enough to guess whether you will get seat or not so we'll discuss cut off for the 2019 batch and uh, for the cap round one it was 457 for the open category 403 for the obc 369 for the scbc and there were no student from the nt1 nt2 and vj category 350 was for the sc category and 400 for the ews in a cap round two uh, cut off slightly decreases and it was 434 for the open category 357 for the obc category 
and cutoff was same for the SCBC that is 369. The candidate of his category may have appeared in ca uh, cap round 2 and the cutoff were declared in cap round 2 and not in cap round 1 for the VJ category and it was 400. For the SC category 15.67 it means if you are belonging to SC category and you are not get qualified then also you can get the seat in signal processing. For the SC category cutoff was 407. For the PWD open category cutoff was 490. And in cap round 3 cutoff only declared for the open category and all the cutoff for the other category remains same. same. And the cutoff for the open category in cap round 3 was 342. So the summary is if you are belonging to open category and if you have 350 plus score if you are belonging to open category and if your score is more than uh, 360 you will have chances of getting signal processing as well you should have more than 370 score for the SCBC category and you can see for the others category also so furthermore talking about the fee structure and uh, uh, let me clear one point here guys uh, many of you are asking about the uh, paying fees in installment it is okay to pay fees in installment but you have to just uh, take a prior permission from the deputy director of COEP and you can pay your uh, fees like 50,000, 60,000, 70,000 and as per your capacity but you have to just write an application for the uh, deputy director for paying fees in installment and take a permission and that's it the process is simple you can get a permission and no problem so the fees remain same as that of other branches like uh, 114000 for the first year and uh, 109000 for the second year total becomes 223000 but uh, no need to worry education loan facility is supported by the CVP and you can get easily so no problem of uh, taking tension of this big amount of fees so moving next uh, we will talk about the facilities of the signal processing branch there is separate study room given to you and separate computer lab which is 24 by 7 open and you can study and uh, do your work in night also the signal processing excellence center is given to you if your projects are good and you need high performance systems will be provided in the signal processing excellence center there is good support for publishing your research paper and CVP also does funding for the research paper publication the plus point is there is no hard work for the your exam like exams are based on the assignment and presentation base you have to just study your class notebook and go to your exam and that's it there is well exposed environment to learn recent technologies like internet of things machine learning artificial intelligence cloud technologies blockchain technologies etc there are industry experts guest lectures seminars conferences conferences events happening in the department so you can go and attain also giving more information about this branch is like uh, if we are going to uh, look into the course structure uh, 68 credits are required for the uh, mtech degree for the uh, signal processing and uh, it covers all the courses surrounding your signal processing branch like mathematics bridge courses elective course learning courses core courses laboratory interdisciplinary liberal and self-learning and skill based courses so if you complete this course you will be like versatile personality your two year mtech includes four semester in a semester one 22 credits are given and there are some important subject for your uh, interview point of view like digital image and video processing biomedical and signal processing linear algebra and probability theory the biomedical and signal processing is very important subject uh, you can talk more on this subject in your interview in a semester two uh, 22 credits are again given and uh, but i would suggest you to uh, do mini project because uh, uh, quality of mini project is directly proportional to selection of your internship and the important subject of this semester are like uh, machine learning artificial intelligence joint time and frequency analysis that is jtfa is very important subject so combining semester one and semester two your first year of uh, mtech is completed in a second year two semester are uh, given 12 credits equally and you have to just do one main project throughout the year with pro with 12 week online courses on NPTEL as per your interest and your choice. So this was all about the course structure of the signal processing. This is something little bit busy but uh, you can find more interesting uh, topics to learn and you will find uh, very good friends in COAP. 
so you are going to enjoy this course a lot one of the important parameter which will affect your decision of doing mtech is placement the plus point here is all the student from the signal processing are allowed to go for the internship as per your guide's choice and the uh, every year 10 plus minus students got the internship in this branch some company use ppo directly to their interns as per their policy so there is no hunting for the job company also provides good stipend of 20000 to 30000 so e your economy also stable in a 2019 batch 11 student placed out of 18 talking about this year 2020 the placement scene is somewhat dull and uh, only five student placed in core and uh, two student placed in it so uh, only seven student out of 18 are placed at and uh, 11 student not get their job offer yet. But you can understand the situation of this year. We cannot predict what will happen in this year based on this scene. So don't have fear of this scenario. The average package was uh, 6 lakh per annum and the highest package was 10 lakh per annum. And 3 students got 8 lakh per annum. So you can be among these. So you can get 5 lakh to 10 lakh easily if and only if you are doing your sincere work. As there are some advantages, there are some disadvantages also with this branch. We'll go into pros first. Like uh, there is very good opportunity to learn the data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. And uh, projects are also given based on the AI, ML and DL. So genuinely we can be a master in these technologies and uh, this can help you in getting the job. There are some PhD scholars in CVP who can help you. Uh, in your projects and share their experiences of learning the things it is like supporting hands to you and if you know about the coding and if you have learned uh, something about the coding uh, nowadays more companies are coming for the coding the cons are like schedule is very tight in first and second semester and you cannot find uh, time for your other businesses uh, heavy project load is also given and uh, there are some extra lectures on saturday sunday also the problem here is only core field internship projects are accepted by the guides if your internship company is providing you a non-core project and if your guide is not accepting that project you have to leave your internship and have to do in-house project in the college so that was all about the pros and cons of mtech in signal processing at coep so this is all from my side Thank you so much. See you in CVP. Subscribe the channel. Join my WhatsApp group. Join the Telegram channel. Link is given in the description. Raise your doubt and comment in the comment box. Feel free to ask your doubt. Comment box is open for you. Thank you. Thank you so much.